Welcome back to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'm going to show you how to add a reverb and delay to a vocal inside of Pro Tools. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so you don't miss a video. Without further ado, let's get to it. Alright guys, so for today's session, we're going to be using a song that I made with one of my friends. He goes by the name of Trinellius, and I made the beat and he did the rap. I've organized this session into two different folders, one containing the B files and another containing the vocals. We're going to be adding a reverb and delay to the vocal tracks verse, verse 2, and extra. And the way that we're going to do this is by creating two auxiliary input tracks. So we're going to go to the top where it says track, go to new, and we're going to go to create one, mono, because the audio that we're going to be routing is mono audio, so this has to remain mono. And we're going to go to audio track, change this to auxiliary input. And for the name, we're going to call this reverb. We're going to hit the little plus sign, create one, mono, auxiliary input, and change this to delay. We're going to hit create. And let's go ahead and switch to the mix window so we can better see what we're doing here. Now let's go ahead and add the reverb and delay plugins to the tracks. So inside reverb, we're going to go to insert A, plugin, reverb, and we're going to go to deverb. We're not going to make any adjustments just yet. Let's go ahead and add the delay. So insert A, plugin, delay, and mod delay 3. Now the trick here is we're going to route the vocal tracks to the reverb and delay. And the way we're going to do this is by creating sends. So in the vocal folder, we're going to open it up and we're going to start with verse and move on to verse two and then extra. So on every single channel, there's inserts and sends. So right here where it says sends A through E, we're going to go to the first slot, go to track, and we're going to go down and find the track reverb. It's right here near the bottom. So we're going to click it and we get a send fader. And this is what we're going to be using to control the amount of reverb, not the fader on the reverb itself. So we're going to go to verse two, go to track, go to reverb. And oh, I guess I already had it here. OK, reverb right there. Perfect. So we're going to first add the reverb and then we'll add the delay after. So I'm going to mute the libs left, libs right, and I'm going to mute the beat as well. And we're going to listen to the vocal. And as we're listening to it, we're going to pull up the fader so we can hear how much reverb is being applied. So let's go ahead and start. It's weird. Knock, knock, hello, so we're going to click on the send. Okay. I just brought we're going to start pulling up the and fader. Talking about them. And I'm feeling hella raw. I ain't been a dog in a minute. And so I'm back and I'm there. feeling I'll let you know when I'm finished. Okay, okay. Cali Rays live in Vegas, nine to five. Like, we're going to meet the extra. Niggas asking, can I get your time? Like, no, nah, use a waste of mind. So I'm... Okay, let's play it with the beat to see how much it's how much of it affects the beat here. Knock knock, hello, welcome me in. I just brought a couple bars and I ain't talking about them. And I'm feeling hella raw, ain't been a and dog in a minute. And I'm back and I'm feeling. I'll let you know when I'm finished. Okay, okay. Cali Rays live in Vegas, not to fire like whoa, sick of niggas. That's it. So that sounds like a good mix right there. I'm gonna leave it at 7.8, and we're gonna go to the actual reverb. And I'm going to change a couple settings here. I'm going to cut the high frequency cut to about 13,000 kilohertz. And I'm going to add a pre-delay of about 5 milliseconds and a diffusion of about 90%. Keep in mind, this is all um, personal preferences here. Um, the dry or the wet, this is always going to be 100% because remember, we're controlling the amount of reverb by using the send fader, not the wetness on the plugin or the uh, reverb fader. So we're going to keep it as large, 4.5, and let's see what that sounds like. Knock, knock, hello, welcome me in. I just brought a couple bars and I ain't talking about them. And I'm feeling hella raw, ain't been a dog in a minute. And I'm back and I'm feeling, I'll let you know when I finish up. Okay. okay, not too bad. So we're going to want the same amount of um, reverb on verse 2 as verse. So we're going to go to verse 2 here, and we're going to change this to negative 8.4, because that's the setting that it was on the other send fader. So we're going to go to negative 8.4. So negative 8.4. Let's go to the other part or the second part of the, of the song to see what it sounds like on that part. You didn't dress me then. I can't trust you now. Yeah. I can't with the you didn't trust me then. Okay. 
not too bad. So let's go ahead and add it to the extra track. And the extra is going to be this little purple here. And we're going to go to unmute. We're going to mute the verse and verse two. And let's start applying the reverb as we start listening to the extra or ad libs. Let's mute the beat. Okay. We're gonna want a little more. What's up? Not too much because you don't want that um, to yeah. interfere with the other parts of the reverb here. So let's unmute it. Rage, live in Vegas, not to fire, like, what? Sick of niggas asking, can I get your time? Like, no. Nah. Use a waste of mind, so I'm in the mines too low. I'm a rude awakening, and you still sick. You gotta go. See a sign, they say, Zodiac signs. I'm talking chocolate and lies. So it sounds like a decent mix there. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to the delay. And same deal, we're gonna send right below the reverb. We're gonna go to the second one here. We're gonna go to send track to delay. We're gonna leave the fader down there. Again, verse two, track, delay, send on the extra, track, delay. And let's start with just the verse. We're gonna mute all these other ones. And we're gonna start from the very top here so we can listen. And let's start pulling up the fader as we're listening to the track. Knock, knock, hello, welcome me in. I just brought a couple bars and I ain't talking about them. And I'm feeling hella raw, I been a dog. Oh, that's that's the wrong fader. Okay, my mistake, it happens. Don't worry about it. Okay, here we are. All right, let's start pulling it up. Knock, knock, hello, welcome me in. I just brought a couple bars and I ain't talking about them. So as you can see, that's a little bit too much delay. So we're going to go to the delay plugin and we're going to try the quarter note setting and we're going to throw a little bit of groove in there so it doesn't sound too quantized. And let's let's try it out. Knock, knock, hello, welcome me in. I just bought a couple bars and I ain't talking about them. And I'm feeling hella raw, I ain't been a dog in a minute. And I'm back and I'm being, I'll let you know when I finish up. Cali Ray's living Vegas, not to fire like, whoa, sick of niggas, sick of niggas. I'm going to turn down a little bit more and I'm going to go to the end of the verse here where it separates with the beat. Okay, I'm going to turn it down just a little bit more. I just wanted to fill in a little bit of the spaces without sounding too relevant. Okay, let's go to the second part of the track here. You didn't dress me. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So we want the same setting on verse two. So we're gonna pull up the mix window and we have the delay here on verse one as eight, negative 18.2. So we're gonna go to delay on verse two and go to negative 18.2. And let's go ahead and play that part. Unmute it. Okay, that sounds pretty decent. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the extras and we're gonna mute the rest of the vocals plus the B because I wanna hear what this sounds like since there's a little bit more repetitiveness in there. Okay. And we're gonna start pulling up the fader. Da, da. Pull it down. Uh, we don't want it to interfere okay, with the okay, verses. Okay, okay. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Just something subtle. And let's go ahead and unmute the verse. Nah, Keller, welcome me in. Okay. I just bought a couple bars and I ain't talking about them. And I'm feeling hella raw. I ain't been a dog in a minute. Now and with I'm the beat. Back and I'm feeling, I let you know when I finish up. Okay. Cali Ray's living Vegas, not a fire. Like, whoa. Sick of niggas asking, can I get your time? Like, no. Nah. Use a waste of mind, so I'm in the mines too low. Let's go ahead and go to the end of the verse. Try to stay in your life at the job. Hey, bro, you doing the most. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and let's go ahead and unmute the rest of the vocals here. And let's play it as a whole from the top. Knock, knock, hello. Knock, hello. Knock, knock, hello. Welcome me in. I just bought a couple bars and I ain't talking about them. And I'm feeling hella raw. I ain't been a dog in a minute. And I'm back and I'm feeling. I'll let you know when I finish up. Cali Ray's living Vegas, not to fire. It's 
gonna go to the end of the verse here. We're gonna let it play into the second part of the track here. You didn't dress me. Okay, that's pretty good. So we're gonna collapse the vocal folder. And now that we have the delay, um, the reverb and delay set, we can now create another folder here. So we're gonna go to track, go to new, and we're gonna go to audio track. We're gonna go to basic folder, and we're gonna call this folder effects. We're gonna go to create, and now we can select the reverb and delay and throw them both into the effects folder. So now we have our whole session organized as well as our effects. And this is the basics of adding a reverb and delay to your vocal inside of Pro Tools. I hope you guys find this helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you at the next session.